What's up, Floomies? Okay, it is 6 a.m. in Australia. I know, it's super bright. I wish it was like this at home, or maybe I don't. I can like really get up at this time. Anyway, I'm a morning person. I'm the person everybody hates. We are headed to go to a breakfast where I get to do like a short little version of tailgate talk to try to inspire a whole bunch of young people this morning. So I'm excited. I'm freaking stoked. Haven't had any caffeine yet. I'll get right on that. Stay tuned. I'll show you all the Aussie Flomies. My first stop is to the floating coffee bar. It's like a floating caffeine paradise. The problem is a black coffee with just stevia is actually called a flat white and a large is like an American small. So I need like I need like four of them to get properly caffeinated. Good morning, Flomies. Morning. You look really cute. Thank you. They call breakfast brekkie here. So the new phrase is Where the brekkie at? <laughs> Where the brekkie at? We'll put our little spin on it. Where the brekkie at? And it's no good day, mate. It's like how you going? Right? How's going? How you I don't know. How you going? <laughs> hey, hey, how you going? I'm good, thank you. So? Hey, how are y'all going? Hey, good. Good. See, that's perfectly normal. We don't say how you going. I don't know. I think you just sound hey. like you're. Hey, how you going? Good. Good. <laughs> that's not weird to you at all, right? No. What if I said? What if I said how you doing? How you doing? How you going? How you doing? We'll get it. Yeah. We'll get it. We'll get Baby float. It's like 40 degrees there, which is like I don't know what that is here. It's cold, oh really cold. cold. So yeah, she snuggled up with her goat. <laughs> yeah, goat. her goat. Have you seen her goat on the vlogs? Yeah. Yeah. So her big fat goat is all snuggled up with her, and apparently she's okay. But it's He's not like 75 degrees head. like it is here. Oh, wow. So okay. yeah. He's looking after her. Well, all the all the squad is looking after her. So Jesse, the tie dye fairy got hooked today in the shin trying to get baby Flo's blanket on because the goat protects her. Oh, so the goat, yeah, so the goat like the goat protects her and she's like really it's a really weird goat, man. That's it's a really Everyone weird goat. Hey, give me dap if you think tie dye's cool. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The world's youngest flow me. Hey, hit me. Boom. I try to change a life every single day, so hopefully I can do that for somebody here today. I had my life changed in 2009 when I broke my neck, so um, that's where the Troxel helmets come in. I broke my neck. It was the same injury as Christopher Reeves. If you guys um, know what that is, it's also called a hangman's fracture, so when people are hung, they die instantly from the exact same injury that I had. So a broken C2, um, which is the odontoid, which controls your movement of your head from left to right, also wraps around your spinal cord. So you lose all movement of your limbs. You're just completely paralyzed. I had a 2% chance of walking or talking again. So it was a pretty devastating day. It was kind of what I call the big bang for me, um, where I had to get it together, had to kind of re rethink it. All right, I changed back into these clothes, so we just got done with the signing. We had, there's a modern American barbecue place. It's freaking bomb in Australia, so shout out to that place, it's amazing. Um, now we are headed, I've got a big surprise for a Flomi that is flying in, so I'm excited to show you that too. Time to sign some more autographs, change some more lives, take some pictures. Oh my God, we're not gonna make it. I'm here all day. I wasn't gonna leave you. Oh my God. All right, so this is my Flomi Sarah from Australia. And so what happened was, it's your birthday when? Monday. Monday, and she wasn't able to get off work. So a little birdie sent her a plane ticket to come here, and now she's here. And I told her, I'm sure it's only be like five seconds, but if I could just hug you for all the support you give me online, and then it means the world to me. Thank you so much for getting me here. I was like, I'm not gonna maybe even make it here or something. And then Shannon's like, what if we get there and she's gone? I'm like, don't, don't say, say that. that. <laughs> well, come here and hug me too. Thank you. I'm sorry, it's so fast, but oh, I couldn't so miss the opportunity to get to meet well, you. Well, like, we're going to be here like an hour and then have to go back, but that's fine. <laughs> well, I hope it sticks with you for another decade. Tell me what this puppy's name is, real loud. Barbie. It's called Barbie? <laughs> what did you, you just change his name? My goodness. Uh, what did you call I it? I better steal it from you then. Nope. Yeah. Tia, what did you call it before? Fight time, Yeah. 
I like that. I like that. Okay, ultimate thing that just happened. A chick was in the ladies' gear riding, repping the Aussie merch, and she killed it. She absolutely crushed it. And then, and then she, she shouted me out, bro. A big round of applause there. Of course, Tyler winning our 2017 ladies' gear riding competition. Come on, you, listen, don't get weird when the camera's out. Okay, the advice this morning worked because what? Because when I wore that shirt, I was like, oh, if I stuff this up, it's no good. Yeah, if I stuff this up, it's no good. That means, like, if I fall off, I'm do bad. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> this is the chick that just rode a steer and absolutely smashed it. She sent it. I'm proud of you, dude. Thank you. And thanks for repping the merch on the steers, not in the streets. <laughs> okay, so one thing I haven't touched on all the days that we've been here is how freaking amazing the food is. So if you remember back to the China vlog, it was not good with the food. Less than desirable. McDung Lao? McDung Lao. He, Shaka. Translation, McDonald's and Pizza Hut is the only thing we can eat. But here, it's like every single thing you could ever want. And it's like kind of traditional with just an Aussie twist, but um, everything's just been so good. And I think with the people being so like friendly and caring and genuine and nice, it's just made everything that much better. Oh yeah. Ooh, secret talent. Everybody can do that. It's you don't say a, that. You, song. my mom told me I was special. For different reasons. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to Warwick for 2017, the seven times Wrangler National Finals Rodeo qualifier and 2014 World Champion Bell Racer, all the way from Dallas in Texas, Carmen Tyler. Okay, I got gifts today and I haven't gotten to open all of them. Look at my donut stationery set though. No. Okay. I love this. And my donut mug. My Flomi that came here, Sarah, that was able to come down here. She got me a chewy purse. Is that what she called it? A chewy purse? Mm -hmm. And I thought she was talking about tobacco. <laughs> but she was called, talking about chewing gum. So I'm excited about this. In Australia, it's called a stubby holder. In America, obviously, it's koozie. And this is for storm drain, so we will make sure to give her that. And then, I've got a very special one right here. I'm really excited about this. Yes! Look at the luggage tag! It's a donut! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Look at this chick. This is Shania, and she put in her entire, like, resume. This girl did it. No, she's trying to get a job. And she is killing the game, just in case you wanted to know. Let's see what else she put in here. Adulting is hard, let's just be mermaids. I love this notebook. And I love my notebook at home, so I'm really, really grateful. But she told me she spent a lot of time on this, and I haven't looked at it yet. I wanted to wait until I was with you guys. Check it out, BRC FT Ranch Dressing, and it's a 2018 calendar. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Thank you guys so, so, so much. It's time to call it a night. I don't know what time it is, but right now it's Saturday at like 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, something like that. I've been repping the merch in the streets, and the Aussies love the merch. So guess what? We are making a huge headway with getting the merch in the Aussie streets. So we're doing everything we can. We've met with a bunch of retailers. We're going to try to get these jeans down here. So not just the... United States Flomies, but the international Flomies can be rocking it too. So hope you guys love that. I was able to change some lives today. I was able to sign a bunch of autographs, do a bunch of really cool things, and um, hopefully made a big impact while I've been in Oz. So a little emotional today. Hope you guys have enjoyed this trip. I have one more day here. Until next time, make sure to drink your protein, say thank you to Jesus, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Congratulations.